I always try to understand people's perspectives. People who say things that I may disagree with, but I always want to try to see, okay, tell me, maybe tell me something I don't know. Fill me in on this one. This is one I can't figure out. Because I'm trying my best to see if I can say, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't, maybe I don't get it. But this is this is interesting, I guess. Jane Fonda recently blamed men and racism for climate change. And uh, yeah, um, she was having a conversation at the. Pan Film Festival, and arguing that without this patriarchy, the climate crisis of epic proportions would cease to exist. <laughs> now, let me just stop right there. Let me stop and ask you first to like this video, to subscribe to the channel, to hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos. And also to, to patronize our sponsors, speaking of patronizing. Our sponsors at MyPillow.com, these great people who provide you with the following. If you go to MyPillow.com and put in promo code Lionel, L-A-O-N-E-L, you get a free gift. A free gift that will forever change your life. A free gift that says, wait a minute, this is it, from the greatest company that provides the greatest products regarding pillows, mat uh, 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 mattress toppers, duvets, blankets, washcloth, pet beds, you name it. Every configuration, every iteration, every aspect of sleep equipment, they've got it. They're, they're simply incredible. MyPillow.com. Promo code Lionel. I'll put a link up here for you so you'll know what to do. Now, let me explain something. I'm not going to argue with you. Climate change. I, 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 or climate. Um, I don't even understand what this is. I don't even know. The, the, the whole notion of climate change. You see, one thing I don't understand is when something changes, change is not necessarily bad. For example, if I said to you, uh, Mr. Mr. Lipschitz, yes, uh, I'm, I'm Dr. Gosman, yes, and your tumor has changed. Hey, that's great. Is it? Change how? Change in size, tripled in size, or halved? So I don't, I don't, I don't even understand the, the, the whole notion of change. And I also don't understand necessarily the point that is being made as far as an anthropogenic causation model, but Jane Fonda blamed men and racism for climate change. And here is the quote that was made by Jane Fonda. Quote, this is serious. We've got about seven, eight years to cut ourselves in half of what we use of fossil fuels and unfortunately the people that have the least responsibility for it are hit the hardest. Global South, people on islands, poor people of color. It is a tragedy that we have to absolutely stop. We have to arrest and jail those men. They're all men behind this. She continued, it was reported later on, and there was a question apparently from somebody from the audience, uh, and she delved more and, and, and illuminated her claim a little bit more. She says, quote, it's good for us to realize. It's good for all of us to realize, she says. There would be no climate crisis if there was no racism. There would be no climate crisis if there was no patriarchy, a mindset that sees things in a hierarchical way. White men are the things that matter and that everything else is at the bottom. 
she is a uh, an activist. She's eighty five years old. She she's a tremendous actress. I saw, believe it or not, her latest book, uh, her movie, Book Club Two, in which she was almost frozen by virtue of what appears to be a sensible um, um, uh, work done, which is fine, which is fine. Listen, she's 85 years old, bless her heart. Um, but this uh, activist uh, known as Hanoi Jane uh, has remained a, a longtime advocate of climate change awareness, and that is just great, great. And when it comes to this, I have tried my utmost to understand specifically how is it that patriarchy and white men and men have been responsible for climate change. Let me say something, and I'm going to speak to my dear friends, my dear friends who are um, who who care about the notion of climate change. Let me just say this to you, and I want you to listen very carefully. As long as you have this kind of statement being made by somebody of Ms. Uh, Fonda's stature, in, in, in particular, especially from her and what she said in the past, it will do ultimately your cause a tremendous amount of harm by virtue of the fact that it's comical, it's nonsensical, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't connect itself. It does not allow one to make connections between this and that and to merely say things, to talk about uh, patrimony, hierarchical, uh, hierarchical uh, causation, racist overtones, the connectivity. This is just gobbledygook. It's word salad. It's logolalia, logoria. It is nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. Make the case. W w it explain this story. Make the case. It's good for us all to realize there would be no climate crisis if there was no racism. There would be no climate crisis if there was no patriarchy. A mindset that sees things in a hierarchical way. My, white men, white, white men are the things that matter and then everything else is at the bottom. White men. I would venture to say that there are individuals involved in this thing called climate change that are not necessarily white, caucasoid. I don't want to get into the specifics of this. I don't want to break this thing down, but I would venture to say that if you want to use a an actual uh, anthropological distinction as far as, as racial components and the like, there are others who are not necessarily uh, Caucasian. Let me leave it at that. This doesn't help anything. This hurts your cause. If you're going to make statements about something which is you believe to be problematic, tell us how we can change things. If I were to try to cause a, a stop cancer by saying cancer is a conglomeration, a transmogrification, an accumulation, a a a a a melange of factors, both existent and non-existent, extant and vague, that coalesce and uh, uh, adhere to the proposition caused by a patriarchal corporatist environment. It, it, she's gobbledygook. Can you realize she has no idea what she's talking about? And if she doesn't know what she's talking about, maybe there's nothing to this cause, and that hurts you. So listen, it's up to you. Uh, climate uh, activists, climate change, good friends of mine in that particular ilk, that's fine. I believe in your sincerity. I believe in your sincerity. But as long as you have this woman who uses this, her platform to promote this image, this, 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 I don't know what it is, this, um, this concatenation of, of, I don't, I don't know what. As long as this happens, it cheapens your cause and mocks your situation. 
and your belief system, which I believe you take most seriously. That's all I want to say. But it's up to you. It's up to you. Thank you, my friends. Please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please, 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 please hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos. And don't forget our friends at MyPillow.com. Promo code Lionel. You get a free gift. Put in Lionel. You get a free gift. And whatever you do, I beg, beseech, importune, and ask you to comment, comment as you see fit.